Hello everyone, it's PC Alpha here and in this video I'll be covering how to fix GTA 5 is not launching error for the game GTA 5. So a lot of users have been complaining about this problem and I'll be showing you how to fix this problem in few simple steps. Follow all the steps one by one and I'm sure it will help you in fixing this problem. And even after watching this video if you're not able to solve this problem, contact me in the comment section and I'll try to help you out. So let's start without any further ado but just before starting I would like to tell you that I've already made a GTA 5 fixes playlist. You can check that playlist out by going to this link. I will provide this link in the description of this video. And now let's get it get started with this video. So the first step. First step is clean booting your PC. To fix this problem, to fix any problem in your PC, I recommend to clean, your, clean boot your PC first. So if you don't know how to clean boot your PC, I've already made a 2 minute 45 seconds guide on how to do so. So you can just access this video by clicking the link in the description of this video. So once you have clean booted your PC, then proceed to the second step. So I consider it as necessary. So just first clean boot your PC, then proceed to the second step. Now for the second step, open your Epic Games Launcher or Steam or whatever you are you whatever software you have used to download your GTA 5 game. I've used Epic Games Launcher. So I'll just go to my Epic Games Launcher library and here select GTA 5, click on these three dots and click on verify. So this problem mainly occurs because there are some incomplete downloads. So if you verify the files, it will look for any incomplete downloads and re-download them. And if you're using Steam, you just have to right click on your game, go to its properties and verify integrity of game files. And once you have done it, then try running your game. It might work for you, but if it still doesn't proceed to the third step. Third step is a really easy one again. Just go to your documents folder in your PC, go to documents folder and here look for Rockstar Games. Inside Rockstar Game, you will find three folders, GTA 5 Launcher and Social Club. But what you have to do is just completely delete this Rockstar Games folder. Right click on, like, click on it and just delete it. And it has been deleted. And now try running your game. And now again, most probably your game will work. But if it still doesn't work, proceed to the fourth step. Proceed to the fourth step and in the fourth step, you have to download the DLL files. You have to download three DLL files, mf.dll, mfplat.dll, msvcp140.dll. So if you don't know how to download them, so I will just simply provide you all these three links in the description of this video. Just click on these links and go to this website and here select architecture 64 because I have a 64 bit PC. So I'll just download it. Click on download. Same do with mfplat.dll, 64 architecture download. And same with msvcp140.dll download you will get these links in the description of this video so don't worry so once they are downloaded you will see them in your download manager or in simply or in your web browser's download manager open them so i will on only open mf.dll and mfplat.dll you have to follow the same step with msvcp140.dll too open these zip files select the dll file and extract them to your games directory so my games directory is in games, D drive games, GTA 5, click on OK. I've already pasted them, so I will just replace them. And if you already have these mf.dll and all of these DLL files present in your games directory, just replace them. So once you have done it, do the same with mfplat.dll. And again, replace them. And do the same with msvcp140.dll. I'm not going to show it to you again because I've already shown you how to do with these two DLL files. You have to do the same with msvcp140.dll too. Now what you have to do is, if your game works, then it's fine. But if it's still not working, just right click on your desktop and go to NVIDIA control panel. So if you are an AMD user, you have to do this with AMD control panel or it's something like AMD radon center or something like this. But you have to follow the same steps for AMD users too. The layout will be different, the user face will be different, the user interface will be different, but you have to follow the same steps. So once it, you are in your NVIDIA control panel, go to manage 3D settings and here there are two options, global settings and program settings. And in program settings, click on add and here add GTA 5. You can just browse to its directory and select gta5.exe or just if you are getting an option of gta5.exe here, just add it. Once you have added it, scroll down and power management mode, select prefer maximum performance. And here, select the preferred graphic processor for this program, make it the high performance NVIDIA processor. Apply these settings. Try running the game and again your pro game will most probably work 
and if it still doesn't work the last thing that i would recommend you to do well now there are two things left not it's not the last thing but you can try two things first thing is just go to your games directory mine is in games where's d drive d drive games gta5 and go to your gta5.exe and play gta5 or gta5 launch or whatever you are having in your games directory right click on them go to their properties and in compatibility mode select run this program as an administrator apply these settings and click on ok so you have to run this program as an administrator and you have to do the same with play gta5.exe file if the game is working then it's fine and if it's still not working the last and the final thing that you can do is you can download directx so many users don't have directx in their pc and if they try running your game their game then it the error occurs in various forms like launcher is there's some problem with the launcher or there's some problem with the game but actually the problem is with the directx so you just have to search on google download directx and go to this link i will provide you this link in the description too just down click on download here the downloading will be started and in my downloads i look for dx web setup just open this dx web setup so it's directx web setup it will take few seconds to load once it's loaded its installation is really simple you have to accept that agreement click on next don't install the bing bar next and installation will be started internal system error occurred this error is occurring because i have already installed directx successfully in my pc and i don't need to install it again but if you don't have directx your installation will be completed without any trouble so that's it for this video if any of these step help you then please leave a like on this video and if you still have any doubt write in the comment section and also don't forget to subscribe for more thank you and have a nice day